How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a chill day. Today we're going to be taking a look at how I was able to get over 25,000 Capital Peak Gold from attacking what I consider to be the most fun bases to attack. So let's take a look. First off, we are going to be jumping into a Builder's Workshop. It's my personal favorite base to attack, as I feel it is the easiest and you can use a variety of strategies to take it out <clears throat> so here we're using the ground version of the graveyard spam strategy I've dropped one graveyard over each of the splash targeting defenses we've also spread out our troops in a fan so that they can attack different portions of the base at the same time. In the goal, or in the idea, to try and avoid some of the splash damage. So that hopefully, some of the wizards can survive. So we are wrapping up on time as everything is dying out as well. But we were able to get 54% of the base taken out on the first attack. So now, as you can see, there's only this left side of the base remaining. So we decide to drop two of the graveyards over this last giant cannon, and then one over the mortar. There's a lot of splash damage in this area, but I'm hoping that some of these giants can help tank for them. And that maybe some of the skeletons will survive and take out that section. So now we are trying to distract as best as we can with the rams now that everything is deployed and you always want to keep a very close eye to where your big groups of super wizards are located so right here we have a huge group right here and the very dangerous part is when the giants fall behind the super wizards when that happens all of the defenses have a chance to lock on to the super wizards and pretty much this whole strategy is based on keeping the super wizards alive as long as possible. Yes, the graveyard spell is helpful, but since the double nerf, um, the, the graveyards usually can't solo a defense if it's protected. But we're actually able to get an additional 75 loot. So the next fun base that I like to hit is the Barbarian Camp. Now this one is a bit of a beefy base. As you can see, we've got the triangular formation on the air bombs and the back end well-protected rocket artillery. So the reason I like to attack the Barbarian Camp is that it is very challenging to two-shot. That's, you know, it's not super crazy like the Dragon Cliffs, like trying to take out some of the Super Dragons is really, really intense. But trying to plan around the air targeting defenses in the Barbarian Camp, I find very exciting. So in this first attack, probably would have been better to use something else, but you'll see we get pretty close on the second attack but just not quite there so I was able to learn a bunch from this attack and going forward I now know that if the barbarian camp is over 9,000 capital P gold and if it has a decent layout it's gonna be really really tricky as a builder hall 8 now out of builder hall 9 with the extra levels and extra housing space, you know, probably isn't going to be too bad. You know, it might be ones if they're over 10,000 at that point, my guess. But as you can see, we do not have the greatest deployment zones to try and get to this back end. And these, these air bombs, rocket artillery, they're just perfectly protecting each other with all the splash damage so all those skeletons end up perishing 
trying to take them out. And yeah, with these air bombs on the back end, there is no way we're going to be able to clear it out. So we actually miss out on a couple thousand loot, which is what sort of dropped us into the 25,000 bracket, as opposed to being into the maybe 27,000 or the 28,000. But last but not least, the third base that I think is very fun to attack is the Capital Peak. Capital Peak is nearly impossible to two-shot, but you can usually get it done in three attempts. I did want to showcase this one because there was crazy, crazy value from the Super Wizards. All of the defenses around the, the Capital Peak Hall just got annihilated by them. In the blink of an eye. If you have a rage and a heal on super wizards and a lot of things distracting for them, they just destroy everything connected around the, the town hall. I believe it's within one tile. If they're next to it, there can be one tile in between. And then I believe they have to be on the diagonal. Each corner has to be touching, I think. So now we just have the the rest of the archers trying to get as much value as possible. I typically like to do the final attack as an air attack on the capital peak. However, in this base, <laughs> you can see there is so many wrapped rockets on the back end. That there's just no way. So even though I don't like to do it, I feel that the level 3 hogs are very, very weak compared to the level 4 defenses on a lot of bases. Uh, we're going with hogs anyway. And if you had noticed, we do not quite get there. A little bit of a spoiler. But let's see why. So here we're trying to take out the uh, couple of the big defenses, like the Inferno, and then we got the cannon car taken out which was nice but now we are trying to deploy one group of hogs per defense to try and get that stun and then we're trying to create some pathing with these hogs but it's not going too too well so you'll see we get you know a decent group here because so now there's only a couple of defenses on each hog at a time so now we've only got a few more defenses left and when there's not too many defenses on each hog uh, the level uh, was it, level 4 heal spell can usually keep them alive but when they start to get targeted by two definitely three Especially if one of them is a splash and two single targets, then they do start to go down. So now we've got just two more defenses left. The cannon and the spear thrower. Who's going to win? The hogs or the defenses? We've got three left, two left, and two hogs left. They are victorious. However, you might be seeing the issue here. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of base left for one minute remaining and not that many troops alive. So here we will fast forward. It is quite tragic. I think if we had even one more hog live, we might have been able to do it. get down to three two one they're on the last two buildings but just couldn't make it crazy hate to see it but anyways that is how i was able to get over the twenty-five thousand and attacking some very fun bases so you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite base to attack is and 
Maybe we can compare and contrast and see. But anyways, thanks for watching, taking the time, and sticking around until now. If you have, you should subscribe on our way to a thousand subscribers, which will be awesome. And like the video if you enjoyed it, of course. And then there will be a couple of videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. Until next time, take care.